What is up, YouTube? I'm gonna do something a little different this time. I'm gonna go ahead and give you like a little tour of my game collection. I do love video games. I've collected some over time. So I'm gonna do a quick video. It's gonna be a short one, but I just wanna kind of give you a little rundown of the game consoles that I have and some of the collections I have, which are still growing, but I think I wanna take this time and show you the little bit of gaming I got. Let's go. Oh, some of my creme de la cremes. That is 89 Piggy Bank. Mr. Batman said 81 Yoda I picked up and my amazing Spider-Man phone that I love so much. My Miguel Jordan, hello YouTube. Miguel Jordan, this little guy rocking a Gucci hat. Show you some of the games now. We'll stop being a nerd. Let's go ahead and start off with the original. Nintendo that yes, it's original and yes, it is from the 80s and yes, my parents did buy me and my brother this I ended up with it, but you know You know, what are you gonna do? This is a uh, Super Mario Brothers thermos that I picked up at a thrift store What's that year on that? Oh, yeah 1988 Not to mention I also thrifted the Star Fox watch Star Fox watch I can't even fucking say it that fast I have never actually put a battery in this thing, so I don't know if it works, but I really don't care because it is sexy as hell. Star Fox is the shit. Star Fox 64, bomb, dude. Love it. You get a Taco Bell. Here we go. I got one box Nintendo game. I actually had some, but I like to flip stuff and have money in my pocket. So I flipped like a couple of them that were boxed up. I kept this one, um, you know, Super Nintendo. Turtles in Time, gotta have that in the collection. But this Super Nintendo, I believe also is from when we were kids, me and my brother. Somehow I ended up with it. Don't know, sorry brother. But you know, from that to this growing up, it was such a huge upscale. You're like, holy shit, this is the best thing I've ever seen in my life. But you know, time moves on and bam this bitch comes out this one is not original from when i was younger this is actually something i picked up at a i want to say i picked it at an estate sale i got it at an estate sale i think i paid five bucks for it it came with four controllers it also has like the uber setup for the memory it did come with that inside so i was pretty stoked to find that for like such little money i got it for like i think i said i got it for like five bucks hello robin and then time moves on and things get better. And then all of a sudden it's like, Arch! wait a minute. I got to put a disc in this thing. Like what? Nintendo, please. You know, it was one of those things when it came out, it was, it was competing. It was competing with PlayStation. It was competing with, um, yeah, PlayStation was out at the time. So it was competing with a lot, man. So they had to change their game and they did. And they, they came up on that, man. They did. And then... You know, time moves on and oh my God, the Wii comes out and you can use your arms to do shit. And it was amazing. And they made a bunch of terrible games for it and a bunch of cool games for it. And things just got real weird. But, you know, who doesn't have a Wii? Every time you go to a fucking thrift store, you find a damn Wii. There's Wiis everywhere, especially those damn Wii Fit things all over the place. Look at these guys. These are also thrifted as well, too. Now... The one Nintendo I don't have in my collection is a Nintendo Wii U. I just never bought it, and I'm, there's a lot of people that didn't buy it. So as I go out looking for them now, people want buku money for them. So I'm just going to wait. I'm going to find one in the thrift, and when I find one in the thrift, I'm going to buy it. If it's at a reasonable price to put that in the collection. But skipping over the Wii U, I do have the Nintendo Switch. And there she is. My God, my room looks dusty. But yes, have the Nintendo Switch, so that's pretty much all the Nintendos I have. Well, not really. Scourge! Game Boys. I do have Game Boys. I got Game Boys. I sold some of my, I had a 3DS and a regular DS Lite. Sold those, flipped them, got money, went out and bought more shit. So, you know, that's how it is. I can only keep stuff for so long, and then I want to flip it, and I want to buy more shit. So, there's my Nintendo Game Boy collections that I have. Let's move on to Sega. The Segas, I saw, only one I have so far from the beginning of time. I don't have like the one before this, which off the top of my head I can't remember. But I did pick up this Master System 
at a Goodwill. And it came with the zapper and two controllers and that game right there. Which I also think I have one more game for its box. I think it's gonna be, actually I'll show that in a minute for the box games I have, but. This game system is awesome. The actual, the sound quality on this thing, when it competed against the Nintendo, I find was better. Not much better because, you know, it's it's 8-bit, so it's not that crazy, but for somehow they had a little bit of an edge over Nintendo for the sound quality, which was awesome. But, you know, it's one of these things that I'm never gonna let go. I'm gonna keep it. It's beautiful, it's almost pristine. It still has like the plastic over that right there. So, you know, Ghostbusters, Mr. T, Mr. Freeze, Robocop. And here's my, I don't have the original Sega like this. I wish I did. This is the second one that came out. It's a smaller version. Damn, this looks dusty. Um, you know, how many hours have we put in on this shit? Put in hours upon hours on this fucking thing. Sega Genesis, man, it's a classic. Moving down, bam. Sega Saturn. I got this at a Goodwill as well too. Picked that up for probably 10 bucks. Got the controller, all the cables for it. I don't have any games for it, unfortunately. This is hard to come by sometimes without paying full price for them. So if you're out in the thrift, like searching for these things, kind of a pain in the ass. And then bam, moving on down to the Dreamcast. I got this Dreamcast at a thrift store as well too. I think I paid 12 bucks for it. It didn't work. I brought it to my local shop. They fixed it for like 20 bucks. So not bad, 30 bucks. I got four controllers for it. I got a couple games you can see there. They're not anything that's like awesome titles, but again, another one that's hard to come around in the thrift is Sega Dreamcast games. Super, super duper hard. So that's what I have on Segas. I can show, I'm gonna show you the games that I have for it right now. So here are my Sega games that I have left that I didn't sell off. Nothing really crazy. There's the Ghostbusters for um, the Master System, but kind of some open box games. And I got a Moonwalker I picked up at like a, a flea market. Crewball I picked up in Louisiana at a thrift store. All these other ones are all been thrifted. All awesome. Played them all. So much fun. Love it. Now moving on to the Playstations. Oh, let me probably move that marijuana pen out the way. This is my original one from when I was a teenager. This is my Sony PlayStation with the black rose sticker on it because I was such a fucking rebel back in junior high and high school. <clears throat> what can you say about this, man? Some of the greatest games ever made for the system. It's unbelievable. Moving on down. Again, this was thrifted. I paid eight bucks for it. My original one broke, so I just didn't have it anymore. I kind of chunked it in the trash and got the PlayStation 3. But again, titles, man. Super duper amazing titles. This, this console actually changed shit, man. Who'd have thought putting a DVD player on there would put these motherfuckers out of business? But it did. Good for them. Now if only they would say it would come back with something to beat the shit out of them. Who knows? There's a PS3. Amazing console. So much fucking hours of my life spent on this damn thing. So many good games. So much fun. And then there's the PS4 Pro right there. Bam. Amazing. So much fun. PS5 is coming along quick, and I, I just I don't know how they're going to outdo this one. It's going to have to be something where, like, a hand comes out and jerks you off. Here's some of my DS games, my Super Nintendo games, my Nintendo games here. I got uh, 64 back there. Oh, oh, yeah, party time, baby. Some other little games there. I do have some boxed uh, in television games you see right there. I found that in a lot of stuff. So in a lot when I bought a lot. The guy wouldn't sell me just a thing, so they had to buy a whole fucking lot of these things, these television games, and these were the only two boxed ones in there. So it was kind of cool to come up on that. Let's see what we got here. Boom! Oh, got some drugs here. Here's a bit of my messy collection here, which I need to clean up and get all spruced up. But as you can see, you know, here's my, let me get my drugs out of the way. As you can see, PS1, PS2, there's a big box PS1 there. PS2, moving on down. Here's my PSPs mixed along with, you know, some Wii shit and some uh, original Xbox stuff, which I need to get that console, I don't have it, the original Xbox. I'm not really an Xbox guy. Uh, PS3, PS4s, don't really have much of that. GameCube stuff. 
right down there. Some cool titles, mostly ish titles, but again, when you're thrifting, trying to find it. My VHS collection. I still love, fucking love VHSs. Here's some Wii. I got a Wii U game. Some more of the mixture of Xbox and Wii games down there. Some cassette tapes, because I still like listening to cassette tapes, because it sounds fucking awesome. What the hell? Here's some of my little toy collections that I've picked up as well. Nothing too crazy. Original mass toy. Some 90s reissued Star Wars stuff. Well, that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That was all of my stuff for now. I hope it grows and grows and grows and festers. Please leave a like because, you know, that gets me in the algorithm of the uh, YouTube channel and then it puts me into cyberspace and puts us in the matrix together. Till next time.